Symbolic behavior serves as a crucial marker of cognitive complexity and cultural depth among early human species, offering insights into their abilities to think abstractly, communicate, and maintain social bonds. Traditionally viewed as mere hunters and gatherers, Neanderthals are now recognized for their capacity to express themselves symbolically, challenging long-held stereotypes about their intelligence. Recent archaeological discoveries have illuminated the sophisticated aspects of Neanderthal life, revealing that they were not only adept at surviving the harsh climates of the Ice Age, but also capable of engaging in behaviors that reflect a deep cognitive and cultural richness. The presence of cave art, the use of mineral pigments, and the creation of engraved tools and ornaments underscore the Neanderthals' ability to imbue their world with meaning beyond mere survival, suggesting a society with its own forms of communication, ritual, and artistry. This evolving understanding of Neanderthals highlights the need to reconsider our perceptions of their intelligence and capabilities, acknowledging them as complex beings who shared many of the attributes once thought to be exclusive to modern humans. In the exploration of Neanderthal life, several cave sites across Europe have emerged as key locales for understanding their use of symbolic art. La Pasiega, part of the El Castillo cave complex in Spain, stands out for its red ochre markings, believed to be among the world's oldest cave art, dating back over 64,000 years ago, a time when Neanderthals roamed Europe before the arrival of modern humans. Similarly, the Maltravieso cave in Spain offers compelling evidence of Neanderthal artistry through hand stencils that share the ancient timeline of La Pasiega's creations. Adding to this rich heritage of Neanderthal culture, Cueva de los Aviones presents an intriguing find of perforated seashell beads and pigments, pushing the timeline of symbolic behavior further back to around 115,000 years ago. The cognitive abilities of Neanderthals have long been a subject of debate within the scientific community. Initially, many researchers minimized their capabilities, suggesting that Neanderthals lacked the complex thought processes and creativity often associated with modern humans. This perspective was influenced by early finds and interpretations that seemed to portray Neanderthals as predominantly focused on survival tasks, lacking evidence of sophisticated symbolic or artistic expression. However, this view has been significantly challenged by recent research that points to a much more nuanced understanding of Neanderthal cognitive abilities. A pivotal study in this shift is the work by Dirk Hoffman in 2018, which employed uranium-thorium dating techniques to determine the age of cave paintings in three distinct locations in Spain. These paintings, which include hand stencils, geometric patterns, and depictions of animals, were conclusively dated to be over 64,000 years old, a time when Neanderthals were the sole hominins inhabiting Europe. This groundbreaking discovery provided clear, direct evidence that Neanderthals were capable of creating symbolic art. Recent archaeological discoveries have significantly advanced our understanding of Neanderthals, particularly their use of Spanish imperial eagle phalanges and marine mollusk shells, illuminating aspects of their symbolic thinking and social or ritual practices. One notable study that sheds light on these behaviors involves the analysis of eagle talons found in the cave site of Cova Foradada in Spain. These talons, dating back approximately 39,000 years, show wear patterns and cut marks that suggest they were used as pendants or parts of jewellery, indicating a form of symbolic expression or personal adornment among Neanderthals. This use of animal parts in adornment points to complex social behaviours and possibly to the assignment of symbolic meanings to objects or animals within Neanderthal groups. Similarly, the discovery of marine mollusk shells at the site of Cueva de los Aviones 
also in Spain, further underscores the Neanderthal's capacity for symbolic thought. These shells, dating back to around 115,000 years ago, were found to contain traces of pigments and show evidence of having been perforated, suggesting their use not only as pendants or ornaments but potentially also as containers for pigments or paint cups. The use of pigments, in turn, implies a level of artistic or ritualistic practice, as well as the possibility of body painting or the marking of objects for symbolic purposes. The discovery of engraved bones in locations across Germany and France has provided remarkable insights into Neanderthal culture, revealing their capabilities for artistic creation and symbolic thought. One of the most compelling findings comes from the site of Einhorn Höhle in Lower Saxony, Germany, where a 51,000-year-old engraved giant deer phalanx was unearthed. This bone shows deliberate incisions arranged in a chevron-like pattern. The engraving on this bone made long before the arrival of modern humans in Europe, making it one of the earliest form of artwork in human history. Similarly, in France, the site of La Roche Cotard has yielded a piece of flint known as the Mask of La Roche Cotard, on which a bone has been deliberately placed in a manner that some interpret as representing a face. Though the interpretation of this artifact as a mask is debated, its creation undeniably points to a sophisticated level of symbolic thinking. These engraved bones are significant not just as isolated artifacts, but in what they reveal about the Neanderthal mindset. The act of engraving these bones with specific patterns or motifs suggests a desire to communicate ideas or meanings, a foundational aspect of human culture. It implies that Neanderthals had a sense of aesthetics and possibly engaged in practices that went beyond the purely functional, such as storytelling, ritualistic behavior, or the expression of individual or group identity. The use of ochre pigments by Neanderthals represents a significant aspect of their behavioral complexity, hinting at early forms of artistic expression and possibly ritualistic practices. Ochre, a naturally occurring mineral pigment, ranges in color from yellow to deep orange or brown depending on its iron oxide content. Neanderthals likely collected ochre from natural clay deposits, which were abundant in their environments. To create pigments, they would grind the ochre into a fine powder using stones or other hard surfaces. The preparation of ochre pigments required a deliberate process of selection, extraction, and modification of natural materials demonstrating Neanderthal's ability to plan and engage in complex tasks. This process not only indicates their cognitive capabilities, but also suggests that these early humans attributed symbolic significance to colors and the act of painting, using these materials to communicate, adorn, or engage in cultural rituals long before the appearance of modern humans. The mysterious hand stencils found in various cave sites around the world, including those attributed to Neanderthals, are among the most evocative and intriguing forms of prehistoric art. These stencils, created by blowing or spitting pigment around a hand placed against the cave wall, resulted in a negative image of the hand on the rock surface. The exact meaning behind these hand stencils remains a subject of debate and fascination among archaeologists and anthropologists. Several theories have been proposed regarding their significance. One theory suggests that these hand stencils served as a form of signature or identity, a way for individuals to mark their presence within a space. This interpretation highlights the human desire for individual expression and recognition. Another perspective views the hand stencils as part of ritualistic practices or ceremonial activities. In this context, the act of creating a hand stencil could have been a way to invoke protection, 
to record participation in a particular event or to establish a spiritual connection with the cave as a sacred space. The caves themselves, often deep and difficult to access, might have held special significance for these ancient populations, serving as liminal spaces where the material world met the spiritual. Alternatively, some researchers propose that the hand stencils might represent early forms of counting or recording information. The varying numbers of fingers displayed, in some cases with fingers missing or bent, could indicate a primitive form of notation or convey specific messages or codes understood within the community. Despite the uncertainty surrounding their exact purpose, what is clear is that these hand stencils represent a deliberate and meaningful form of expression by Neanderthals and other early human groups. Neanderthal burial practices represent a profound layer of their symbolic world, shedding light on their nuanced views of life, death, and the possibility of an afterlife. The intentional burial of the dead, accompanied by specific rituals such as the placement of bodies, inclusion of personal items, and the use of ochre, goes beyond mere disposal to reflect a deep-seated respect for the deceased. These practices suggest that Neanderthals possessed complex emotional and cognitive capabilities, enabling them to express grief, remember their dead, and perhaps even hold beliefs about the continuation of existence beyond death. Through the lens of burial practices, we gain invaluable insights into the rich symbolic and spiritual life of Neanderthals, challenging long-held perceptions of them as lacking in sophistication and highlighting their shared humanity with us. Neanderthal burial practices have provided intriguing evidence of symbolic behavior, with several archaeological sites revealing specific aspects that suggest a deeper symbolic dimension to their rituals surrounding death. One notable example is the Shanidar Cave in Iraq, where multiple Neanderthal burials were discovered. Particularly, Shanidar IV, also known as the Flower Burial, demonstrated a possible intentional positioning of the body and inclusion of flowers with the dead, suggesting a form of ritual or ceremonial respect for the deceased. This site supports the idea that Neanderthals had a sophisticated approach to burial, potentially with symbolic meanings attached to the way bodies were laid to rest. At the La Chapelle au Saint site in France, a Neanderthal burial was discovered with the body placed in a fetal position, and evidence suggests that tools and animal bones might have been placed alongside the body. Such inclusions indicate that these items held significance, possibly reflecting beliefs about the utility of these objects in an afterlife or their importance to the identity or status of the deceased. The use of ochre in Neanderthal burials has been documented in several sites, including the Kafse Cave in Israel, where human remains were found with red ochre, suggesting its use in burial rituals. Ochre, a natural pigment, might have been used to paint the bodies or objects, signifying various symbolic meanings, such as life, death, rebirth, or as a way to honor the dead. These findings from sites like Shanida Cave, La Chapelle au Saint, and Kafse Cave provide compelling evidence of Neanderthal's capacity for care and compassion. The Divja Babe flute, often cited as evidence of Neanderthal musical activity, represents a fascinating intersection of music and symbolic behavior in prehistoric cultures. Found in the Divja Babe archaeological site in Slovenia, this artifact is a bone, specifically the femur of a young cave bear, with what appear to be precisely placed holes, suggesting it was used as a wind instrument. The Divja Babe flute's significance lies in its age, estimated to be around 43,000 to 82,000 years old, and its association with Neanderthal layers of the cave, suggesting that Neanderthals could have created and played musical instruments. 
If the Divya Babe flute is indeed a musical instrument made by Neanderthals, it indicates an early form of artistic expression and communication through music, reflecting a capacity for abstract thinking and emotional expression. The creation of music, involving melody and possibly rhythm, suggests a sophisticated level of cognitive development and social interaction. Music transcends mere sound to convey emotions, tell stories, and express complex concepts, serving as a powerful medium for symbolic communication within and across human communities. Music often plays a central role in rituals and ceremonies, symbolizing various stages of life, spiritual beliefs, or social orders, and facilitating a shared experience transcending the individual. Brunichel Cave, located in southwestern France, offers profound evidence of Neanderthal construction and potentially symbolic behavior, dating back approximately 176,000 years. This site is remarkable for its structures made from broken stalagmites, arranged in circles and piles within the dark zones of the cave, far from the entrance. The discovery includes several large ring structures and piles made from hundreds of stalagmite pieces, carefully broken and arranged. The largest ring measures about seven meters across, with several smaller rings and structures. Uranium series dating of the stalagmite pieces indicates that the structures are around 176,000 years old, predating the arrival of modern humans in Europe and suggesting that Neanderthals were the builders. The effort to break, transport, and meticulously arrange stalagmites into specific shapes deep inside a cave implies a level of planning and purpose beyond utilitarian needs, suggesting symbolic or ritualistic intent. The location of the structures deep within the cave, away from natural light, might indicate that these spaces held special significance for Neanderthals, possibly for rituals, social gatherings, or other forms of symbolic activities. The creation of geometrically arranged structures suggests an ability for abstract thought and possibly an early form of architectural design, reflecting a sophisticated cognitive capacity and an understanding of space and form. Whether these structures served a practical purpose, were part of ritualistic activity, or symbolize something about Neanderthal beliefs or social structures remains a subject of speculation and ongoing research. Despite significant evidence of Neanderthal cognitive sophistication, including tool use, burial practices, and potential symbolic behaviors, direct evidence of a formal language system among Neanderthals has not been found. The absence of written records or unequivocal artifacts indicating language use leaves the question of Neanderthal language largely to speculation and inference from indirect evidence, such as the anatomical features related to speech and archaeological findings that suggest complex social behaviors. One of the key pieces of anatomical evidence for the potential for speech in Neanderthals is the structure of the hyoid bone. This bone, located in the throat, plays a crucial role in human speech, supporting the muscles of the tongue and larynx. Neanderthals' hyoid bone closely resembles that of modern humans, suggesting they might have had a similarly complex vocal tract capable of producing a wide range of sounds, possibly including spoken language. The complexity of Neanderthal's social behaviors, such as hunting strategies that would require coordination and cooperation, implies the necessity for some form of communication. The successful execution of group hunts, sharing of resources, caregiving, and teaching of skills would be significantly facilitated by the ability to communicate complex ideas, intentions, and emotions. The absence of direct evidence for Neanderthal formal language does not necessarily mean they lacked a means of sophisticated communication. It could be that if Neanderthals used a spoken language without a writing system, there would be no material record of it 
much like the spoken languages of many early human societies. Neanderthals might have relied more heavily on non-verbal forms of communication, such as gestures, facial expressions and vocal sounds, which could have complemented or even substituted for complex verbal language in certain contexts. The anatomical evidence combined with their behavioral complexity suggests that Neanderthals likely had the cognitive capabilities necessary for language. The exact nature and complexity of their communicative systems, however, remain a topic of research and debate. Understanding the symbolic behaviors of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens offers a nuanced view of their cognitive landscapes and cultural expressions, suggesting a complex picture of similarity in their perception of the world with distinct differences in the manifestation of their artistic endeavors. Both species engaged with their environments and each other through symbolic means, indicating a shared capacity for abstract thought and a deep-seated recognition of the world beyond mere survival needs. The personal nature of Neanderthal symbolic expressions, as evidenced by individual ornaments and potentially symbolic burials at sites like La Chapelle aux Saints in France, suggests a focus on the individual or familial level. These practices, including the use of ochre at Maastricht Belvedere and the enigmatic Divya Babe flute, might reflect personal or group identities, memorials for the deceased, or individual artistic expressions, revealing a world where symbolism had a direct, tangible connection to the personal experiences and relationships within Neanderthal groups. In contrast, Homo sapiens symbolic artifacts found in a wide array of locations from the cave paintings in Lascaux, France, to the beads and engravings of Blombo's Cave, South Africa, display a broader, more homogeneous nature. The widespread creation and adherence to stylistic conventions in art, such as the detailed animal depictions in European caves or the Venus figurines scattered across continents, suggest a collective effort in knowledge and cultural transmission. This uniformity points to an advanced system of symbolic communication among Homo sapiens, where art and symbols served not only as expressions of individual creativity, but also as mediums for shared narratives, educational tools, and the reinforcement of social bonds across wide geographical spaces. This distinction highlights a nuanced divergence in the symbolic lives of these ancient humans. While Neanderthals might have focused on the immediate, personal or local significance of their symbolic practices, Homo sapiens developed a more universal approach to symbolic expression. This universality facilitated the transfer of knowledge and cultural values across generations and communities, suggesting a sophisticated network of shared meanings and collective identity that spanned across their expansive territories. The evidence points to a fundamental similarity in the capacity of both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens to engage with the world symbolically, to express themselves artistically, and to imbue their lives with meaning beyond the material. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.